maskallamu da sauraronmu assalamu alaikum godiya ta tabbata ga Allah mai kowa mai komai mai iko akan komai da kowa da ya sake hada mu a wannan tasha mai albarka na arewa istamara lesson kuru a kuma wannan aji na how to speak in english language in a simple way class 3 lesson 8 Do mun ci gaba da gabatar muku kayyatattun darsa domin bunkasa ko ci gaba da ba da gudunwa na wajen bunkasa darajar ilimi a ko ina muke sunana a har kullun sunana Ashur Umar kuma yau zamu shiga darsi na takwas a wannan aji na how to speak in english language class 3 wato our topic of today is wato darsin mu ne shine short passage on present continuous tense a kamar yadda masu bibiya ta da kallama da sauraron mu suke bibiya sun san mun riga mun yi present abubuwa da dama a present continuous tense mun yi dauko a cikin ƙa'idojin mun dauko is mun yi ta bayani akan shi muka yi ta gina sentences mu kuma muka zo muka yi a shi ma muka yi ta gina sentences da shi kuma ina saran a yanzu masu koyo sun riga sun fahimci komai a ta wannan fanni shi yasa a yanzu za mu karkare shi yau za mu yi darasin karshe ta bangaren present continuous tense ta hanyar gina ainihin short passage on present continuous tense wato dan dogon magana ko dogon zance akan present continuous tense wato akan abin da ke faruwa a yanzu idan me ko zai bi biyo ya shirya to shirya tsab cikin natsuwa ya ga irin yadda za mu gabatar da wannan dan karamin passage akan present continuous tense in da ainihin yake kuma kamar yadda muka riga na yi bayani in dai mai ko ya riga ya bibiye mu a baya to zai ga duk abubuwan da muka yi ne dai sune zamu hada shi a nan ya zama a dunkule kamar labari sai ya zama a takaice mun takaita abin kafin mu kammala so da haka yanzu zamu dora daga inda muka tsaya sai da na yi bayani a abin nan a gabatarwa na to yanzu zamu dora shi wannan wannan short passage na sa shi a matsayin zamu yi na hausan tukuna kamar lallabari ne daga nasa mu zan fassara shi da turanci saboda mai koyo ga yadda ainihin dogon magana yake a takaice ko a zan zan yi bayanin abin da zan rubuta kamar lallabari din da hausa wato short passage din daga nasa yanzu an fassara shi zuwa turanci ta hanyar ganin yadda aka yi amfani da duk ainihin da muka yi bayanin su a baya a present continuous tense din da farko na rubut za a yi haka shine sai zama kan kan labari shine mun mishi take da da waimiyan gida yanzu zan fara rubutawa sai mu matsa mu zo mu a fassara mu mai saurare gari a yanzu ina wanki tufafin baban mu kusa da lijiya a cikin gidan mu kusa da lijiya a cikin gidan mu baban mu baban mu mai gyaran babur ne baban mu mai gyaran babur ne yana gyara wata babur 
a kofar gidan mu yanzu yana gyara wata babur a kofar gidan mu yanzu kanni na kanni na biyu mata na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin dakin girkin gidan mu a cikin dakin kanni na guda biyu na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin gidan mu mamam mu na wanke kwado ni mamam mu na wanke kwano ni kuma kanni na maza kanni na maza umar da ibrahim na umar da ibrahim na share duk na share duk haraban gidan mu a yanzu gidan mu na zaman towa sap 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 idan me kore kalla da kyau zai ga irin yadda muka hada wannan takaitaccen ainihin facet akan present continuous tense wato mai suna mai take da wainiyan gida misali ga yadda abin yake a yanzu ina wanke tufafin baban mu kusa da rijiya a cikin gidan mu baban mu mai gyaran babur ne mana babur shine mashin idan mutum bai sani ba tufafi kuma shine kaya da muke sawa baban mu mai gyaran babur ne yana gyara wata babur a kofar gidan mu yanzu kanni na biyu mata na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin gidan mu mamam mu na wanke kwano ne kuma kanni na maza umar da ibrahim na share duk haraban gidan mu a yanzu gidan mu na zaman towa tsap tsap to yanzu mun kammala ainihin labarin yanda yake kuma yanzu za mu tankari inda za mu fassara ainihin duk abin da muka rubuta anan mu bai da shi turanci ta hanyar ta hanyar yin amfani da duk aidojin da muka yi amfani da su a baya a a matsayin present continuous tense so da haka yanzu za mu tankari abin da ke gaba
kamar yadda mai koyo gani to yanzu mu fara fasara abinda wannan dan takaitaccen fasa ke yake nufi da turanci kan labari shine ake kira title ga sunan labari din ko sunan ainihin kan kan labari din shine home responsibility home respond responsibility responsibility home responsibility home responsibility ma'ana ma'ana responsibility an dafan dai da wainiya to idan ka ce home responsibility da wainiya gida domin wannan bayani dogon dogon a bayani da aka yi aka wannan labari ko kuma ce a um wannan short passage akan present continuous tense wato dogon zance akan abin da ke faruwa a yanzu yana bayani akan da wainiya gida in kun duba kamar yadda muka yi bayani shi a aka rubuta da Hausa anan kowa yana da abin da yake a yanzu a cikin gida so da haka yanzu zamu mai da shi turanci sai mu zo mu dan bayyana shi ta takaice daga nan sai mu karkare na farko dai aka ce a yanzu ina wanke tufafin i am washing our fathers our fathers clothes near to a where near to a where in our house I am now I am washing our father's clothes near to a well in our house. Babar mu mai gyaran babur ne. Babur ne ce shine mashin. Idan mu tabe ko bai sani ba. Our father is a motorcycle mechanic mechanic our father is a motorcycle mechanic baba mu mai gyaran babur ne wato baba mu mai gyaran mashin ne yana gyara wata babur a kofar gidan mu yanzu he is repairing a motorcycle in front of our house now baba mu mai gyaran babur ne yana gyara da wata babur a gaban gidan mu ko a kofar gidan mu yanzu our father is a motorcycle mechanic he is repairing a motorcycle in front of our house sai aka ci gaba da cewa kanni na biyu mata na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin gidan mu shine zai zama my two younger sisters my two younger sisters are cooking food in the kitchen in the kitchen of our house 
kalli na guda biyu mata na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin gidan mu shine da turanci my two younger sisters are cooking food in the kitchen of our house sai mu je gaba aka ce maman mu maman mu na wanki kwano ne awa moza Our mother is washing plates. Mama mu na wanki kwano ne. Sai aka ci gaba da cewa kuma kanni na maza Umar da Ibrahim kun ga nan kuma an yi amfani da suna shi kuma shi ma nan ma mother an yi amfani da suna. to a kola da ake amfani da pronouns da kuma sunan duka gaba dai kamar yadda muka yi wannan karantarwa a baya a kan karkashin wannan present continuous tense sai aka ce kanni na maza umar da ibrahim na share duk haraban gidan mu yanzu na share duk haraban gidan mu shine zai zama my younger brothers my younger brothers are sweeping all all our house compound kanni na guda biyu kanni na maza na share duk haraban gidan mu my younger brothers are sweeping all our house compound sai aka ce a yanzu <coughs> gidan mu na zamantowa tsafsaf now our house is becoming is becoming clean and tidy now our house is becoming clean and tidy a yanzu gidan mu na zamantowa tsap tsap gani a kuma masu bibiyata suka ga suke kallo aine yanzu mun yi hada wannan dattakaitaccen ko in ce dogon dan dogon zance akan present continuous tense a hada shi kamar labari kuma mun yi da hausa mazo maka fassara shine yanzu zamu dan bi a takaice domin a a gaya da abin yake a farko dai gashi yau kai a farko dai gashi aka sa short passage on present continuous tense takaitaccen labari ko dogon zance akan ainihin abin da ke faruwa a yanzu sai muka sa kamar labarin take ko abin da ke faruwa din yanzu take shine ainihin da wainiyan gida aka ce a yanzu ina wanke tufafin baban mu kusa da rijiya a cikin gidan mu baban mu mai gyaran babur ne yana gyara wata babur a kofar gidan mu yanzu kanni na biyu mata na girkin abinci a cikin dakin girkin gidan mu maman mu na wanke kwano ne kuma kanni na maza umar da ibrahim na share duk haraban gidan mu a yanzu gidan mu na zamantowa tsafsaf sai muka zo muka yi fassara kamar haka taitun wato kan aine kan labari kan labari ko kan zancen da ake yi yanzu shine home responsibility home responsibility a nan idan ka duba labari ko bayanin da kyau dogon zancen nan da kyau zaka ga a gida ne kowa yana da abin da zai yi kowa yana da aikin da yake yi so da haka ni kai na da nake ba da labari a yanzu ina da abin da ina yi a yanzu kuma 
baban mu ga sana'an shi bayan ga sana'an shi shin ga abin da yake yi a yanzu ba ga aikin da maman mu ke yi da dai sauran su kowa da yana da abin da yake yi so da haka yanzu za mu ji fassaran da turanci kai tsaye home responsibility shine title din zancen now i am washing our father's cloth near to a well in our house our father is a motorcycle mechanic he is repairing a motorcycle in front of our house now my two younger sisters are cooking food in the kitchen of our house of our house our mother is washing plates my younger brothers are sweeping all our house compound our my younger brothers are sweeping all our house compound now our house is becoming clean and tidy idan mai kore kalla da kyau a wannan dan dogon zance ko simple uh, present continuous tense shine kowa zai ga abin da ke faruwa a yanzu ne aka yi bayani akai so da haka yanzu wannan zai zama kaman assignment ga ainihin dalibai na a duk inda kuke a fadin duniya a duk inda kake in kana so in har kana bibiya ta domin ka ga cewa domin kai ma ka bayanci cewa ka bayanci duk irin abin da muka yi akan present continuous tense din nan shine ina so kai ma ka yi kokari ka gina dan wani dan dogon zance ko dan gajeren zance akan abin da ke faruwa a yanzu ta hanyar duba inda kake me kake yi wa kowa ma da yake wurin me suke yi da sauran su to saboda haka idan ka yi zaka yi jiwa wajen wani wanda yake ka fahimta don ya gani maka irin abubuwan da muka yi bakin gurgudo in har ka fahimta zaka ga cewa komai ya fita maka kiliya insha Allah saboda haka da wannan zan na farin cikin shida masu saurare mun gama da present continuous tense in Allah ya sa da ina mai farin cikin shida masu saurare yanzu ne ma aka fara domin insha Allah nan gaba kadan shi kuma zamu fara fitar da darasi akan past continuous tense shi ma insha Allah mai koyo ya ga shin yaya ake tsara turanci ko ya ake mai na ma past continuous tuku na kuma wasu kaidoji ake amfani da su a gargashin wannan wannan tsari na past continuous tense tunda yanzu dai kam in Allah ya sa yadda mun gama da present continuous tense sai fatan Allah ya kare yi mana jagora wurin aiwatar da wannan darsa masu albarka cikin sauki ku kuma masu bibiyan mu Allah ya kare gode muku kwakwalon ku ku dinga fahimtar karatun da muke karantar da ku cikin sauki a duk inda muke da fatan Allah ya daukaka darajan ilimi a duk inda muke domin al'amura ya tafi inda ya kamata kowa da kowa ya dinga fahimtar abubuwan da ya kamata ya samu a bangaren ilimin zamani da na addini bakin gurgudo Allah ya mana jagora da fatan Allah ya hada mu a darasi na gawa idan mai sauraro shi ba kone a wannan ko yau ka fara ganin wannan darasi to Allah ya kika mai abubuwa da dama da suka shafi wannan present continuous tense masu amfani sosai ga ainihin mai koyo inda har yana so yake ka gina magana turanci akwai abubuwa da dama da aka rubuta su domin mai koyo ya iya su ya haddace su don ya iya gina magana turancin shi cikin sauki ba tare da wani ainihin matsala ba kuma ga shar mun zo ta inda zaka iya gina takaitacce ko kuma dan dogon zance akan present continuous tense ta hanya amfani da kaidojin da muka amfani da su kamar yadda aka gangani a ciki kuma ga sunan dusa bukullo su a din ne su is din ne da kuma pronouns din ne da kuma nouns din ne da muka amfani da su wurin gina ainihin maganganuwa ta sentences da muka yi a baya duka sunan su fito a ciki saboda haka kanan zan matsaya idan kai ba kore ka danna mana alama subscribe da alama karara domin ci gaba da ganin kayatattun darsan mu da suke gudana a wannan tasha mai albarka na arewa extra moral lesson kauru Allah ya mana jagora na godi sai mun hadu a darasi na gaba insha Allah